are about 900 judges who didn't show up at the polls in April, which elections officials say greatly contributed to a primary process marred with frustration and confusion. The reaction leading up to Tuesday was the recruitment of close to 3,300 judges. It's more than what they say is actually needed, but they want to make sure they have enough substitutes. As of Monday night, election director Armstead Jones said that about 80 judges had already called out, saying they won't be showing up for election day. Normally you look for maybe 10 percent of the workforce to, to back out, and if that's the case, we still have double what we had last time. The extra recruitment was helped along by an extra $130,000 approved by the city and spent to pay at least a thousand more judges. And to hopefully cut down on the confusion, each judge was required four hours of training instead of three. Training started in mid-September. Provisional ballots were also a big issue in April. The State Board of Elections found that close to 1,200 provisional ballots weren't verified correctly and some weren't counted. The process now is that we shadow the provisional voter from the time they check in and they, that person is then taken to the provisional table and the provisional judge at the table sort of keeps up with that person. And so judges are paid between $165 and $225. They're due at the polls at 5.30 a.m. Reporting live downtown tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.